First off, I want to say that uh, I don't even know what the girl talking about. I was a virgin in high school. You feel me? The whole time. The whole time. You know what I'm saying? And a little bit afterwards. Yeah. You feel I, me? So how can I be at a party with her? You feel me? I can't relate. Yeah. No. You feel me? So, like, that's my judge. I don't know how to say his name. Caravan. I call him Judge Caravan. Kavana. Whoever the nigga they trying to put on the Supreme Court. I have not kept up with that at all. But I keep, yeah. <laughs> I keep seeing that apparently he's uh, sexually assaulted some women. Yeah, yeah. So. Which, you know. It's not, it's not a good look. Nah, he can't be. Not for our government. Nah, he can't be. He can't be on the the government. He got. With sexual assault history and shit. Nah. That's not how that works. Get get him out of there. It's yeah. no it's no good. No. Um. All the sauce and I'm geeked up. Yeah. Don't come with that weak stuff. Yeah. Wash on, I'm in beast mode. I'm a G nigga, live the G code. Yeah. All the sauce and I'm geeked up. Yeah. Don't come with that weak stuff. Yeah. Wash on, I'm in beast mode. Yeah. I'm a G nigga, live the G code. Nickelodeon, I'm all that. Space City Brothers podcast. We in this bitch. Mo City or No City. Uh, uh, other euphemisms. So you you just gonna not say it? <laughs> live from the home of the players and pimps. It's not live, okay? We're not broadcasting. Oh, broadcasting from the home of the players. I just said we're not broadcasting. Fuck. Uh, recording launching. from the home of the players and pimps. Launching. Come on, you gotta stay launching. with the space oh, thing. God damn it. Stupid. God damn it. Can we restart? No. We start. We're gonna no. It's being kept in. We're gonna. I'm not cutting anything we're out. We're gonna use our uh, uh, uh what should we call it? Life Unless I say I'm tech. cutting it out, it's staying in. <laughs> Would you never cut anything out? I do cut stuff out. Uh, I cut plenty out, but until I say I'm cutting it out, it's staying in. Uh, Unless you will start editing. Launching from the home of the players and pimps. Um, the player from the Himalayas. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot to turn down my laptop. Uh, Spice City Tales. Um, also known as Henny Pinagrayus. Hi, uh, Space City Walter. Also known as. No, I'm just Walter. Oh, you, you start with the uh, the mercenary thing? No, everything is forever. Uh, I'm going Andre 3000 on you. No, please don't. Okay. I'm getting. I'm getting, I'm getting, 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 I'm getting even. Just... I'm going even weird, weirder than normal. I noticed that when I get excited about stuff, I say like way too much. It's so annoying, especially when I listen back to an episode. Like, yeah. like, 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 like. Not once when I'm editing it. Usually, I'm not paying that much attention. I'm just making sure everything sounds okay. Yeah, I just play it through and be and do the 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 fixings. But then if I listen to it separately, like when I'm at the gym or most recently, leaving the gym or something, I'll be like, God damn, how many times I say like in one sentence? Yeah. <laughs> you gotta catch yourself. I don't know if teachers get upset about that shit back in grade school. Well, they don't want you to do it during speeches, like speeches and, public, and, shit, yeah. and public speaking, but it's hard not to do it but after like, you've been doing yeah, so long. You feel me? Like, it's like, yeah, that's how niggas talk. Like, yeah, I feel me? Like, and I didn't do that many present. Like, you didn't have to do as many presentations in college. Nope. There was just that was the best part about prison, by college is all that group work and shit. No, we had to do a lot of group work, I especially no group especially work. in labs. Well, I guess it's different when you when you when you're full fledged, you know, for like doctor and shit. For 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 science labs, it's always group presentation. Yeah. Over like over the just minimal shit, like because you know y'all y'all work together as a team and shit. Not even that. It's just they just make you do it in labs. <laughs> It's just every lab you have to do. Not even that. Have to do random group presentations on the smallest things. We had to do group presentation on, on um, different versions of a structure of an atom. And the lab is three hours, and you have an hour to like to figure it out, and then everybody presents. It's like, why are we presenting this? He's not even great in this. We're just doing it just for the sake of doing it, <laughs> just to kill, just to kill the time. We don't need to do this. <laughs> So difficult. Um, did you 
Did you look at the document? Yeah, I did. I looked at it earlier. All right. So one of the things I thought of was all the quality black shows we had. And I was wondering, what are your five favorite black shows? And really, there's about maybe I went down the list. There's about 15 that I've definitely watched out of out of a top 50. Yeah. Like, and there's really old. There's definitely really old ones. They I definitely, definitely remember watching ones. Sanford and Son. Sanford and Son. I definitely watched that like, every day. Like I watched. Uh, you know, there's, I used to love watching Good Times reruns on Saturdays. I see. I never got into Good Times. I was never good a point where I good. got into Good Times. I love Good Times. I like. I don't know why. I was in the Cheers for a while. I don't, but like, I've never watched Cheers. I only got. I only used to watch the. Uh, the the in the the song of it and I wouldn't oh, watch the be, show. <laughs> Sometimes you wanna go. Where all those knows, Yeah, all that like that era of prime time only watched yeah, the, the, That's what I'm saying. Like, like Mary Tyler Moore. I I only watched the, the intro song and then I would change the channel. Change the channel. I sh- I, I remember I used to I used to watch uh uh Charles in Charge for a little while. Never but that's because it. it used to come on like in the morning after like Power Rangers or some shit, and then Charge and Charge would come on. Never when seen when you get it. ready for school and shit. Or no, Charge and Charge would come on first, and that's how I know I had to get up for school because my TV would be on, and when you're Charles and Charge, you'd be like fuck. You know, I, I never <laughs> did. I didn't watch TV before school, except until middle school. Since we went to school later, yeah, that was the only time I started watching TV before, before school. school. Before I'm, then, I would just get up and turn on the news. I would just get up and get dressed and go downstairs, and my parents would have the news on. I would just, just watch on. the news every morning. I see. I, my my thing was oh, my knee gonna kill me. Fucking scar. Uh, my thing was I never really watched it. Watched it. I would always try to stay long enough to catch Power Rangers. That was that was my mission. But it was the certain shows I knew when they came on, like I had to do something. Like so, Charge and Charge had to come on. I had I was getting up in the morning, and that came on at like six in the morning and shit. Which when you think about it, us kids getting up at six in the morning, it's not really healthy for kids. Uh, you're fine. <laughs> now, I was fine. I hate to get up at six in the morning. You're dog. just not a morning person at I all. Am. You don't get up now. I don't. You are incapable. I've I was I'm starting to get better at it. Like I get up I get up I don't at least that before at eight. I don't believe you at all. I promise. Like, last week I was getting up before eight for whatever reason. Uh, I'll just be up all day and be tired of shit the rest of the I day. believe when I see it. <laughs> oh shit. But nah, my favorite my five favorite black shows, Fresh Prince definitely. Kyle, Chappelle show definitely, Boondocks definitely. Uh, now this is gonna sound weird, but uh, Girlfriends. I don't know if you remember that. I show. never got into Girlfriends. I love that show for whatever reason. I love that show. And then um, one on one, not one on one. What was it called? The one with uh, Tamir. Tamir. Was it Tamir or was it T? I can't remember. One of the twins. And it was about football. That was the game. The game. That's what it was. I never one on one was a show with the other people, okay. I never watched the game. It was on wasn't it on B E T? No, it was on it, originally it was on it was back when the W B was black. See, and I I never was into it. Brandon yeah. used to watch it faithfully, but I never I got it, into it. Bro, that shit that show was that show was traumatic, nigga. <laughs> When fucking when when that dude was a piece of shit, like, I do remember that. When when, when old girl che- when uh when old boy cheated on on a girl with uh with uh some pop star or some shit, he didn't really cheat on her, but he did kiss her, but he caught himself, and he dipped before before whatever reason, but somehow it came up. I just remember, whatever. just remember that light skinned dude used to like break the who whichever twin it was heart just all the time. Yeah, and yeah, that's it. That's it. Be yelling at her and shit. That's it. I remember it. I that I remember about it. Uh, my five are Fresh Prince for sure. I can watch Fresh yeah. Prince through and through all the over time, and over. Though. Uh, Atlanta. I had to maybe this might be recency bias, but Atlanta. I love Insecure for See, sure. I didn't want to put Atlanta and Insecure because they haven't really stand at the test of time. You feel me? I think they'll stand. Up. Like I maybe love... once they hit their five year season, I can. I'll and be well, like... not all shows go five seasons, but 
It's still a great show. I mean, it's still a I, great show. I've watched Insecure the first two seasons through twice, and I, I'm along for the ride. <laughs> uh, definitely Chappelle's show. I almost forgot definitely about Chappelle it, but Chappelle's Chappelle show was our was our In Living Color. Basically. Because I met, like, my sister and my older cousins watched it, but I never saw In Living Color. I saw a little bit of it. So, but that's on like reruns and shit on BT. Yeah, and then they they brought it back. But yeah, for, it was, but it never lasted. It didn't last. It was it was just too dated. Yeah, co- compared to, they brought it back at the same time Chappelle's show was going. That's the thing. Oh, so you know, you, see, you can't. The comedy was different. Yeah, so it's. I mean, like the stuff that was on the show, there were definitely funny skits, but it's, you know, you you going back ten fifteen years. And Chappelle show is the hottest black show right sketch now. show yeah. just pretty much ever. ever. Everywhere, anywhere, ever. It's probably the hottest sketch show on TV. Like, way funnier than SNL at the time. Way funnier than... than and SNL wasn't even on my... I, I don't think I've ever actually watched the episode of SNL. I watched I've it never truly who's... watched the episode. I always watched Mad TV as a kid. I, see, I, I, I watched Mad TV, but I didn't really care for Mad TV. I watched Mad TV every Saturday night. Yeah. Hey, I watched cop, I watched whatever rerun show. Usually it was good times to my memory. Then I'd watch Cops. Then I'd watch Mad TV. And then I'd watch the Saturday Night Wrestling. Cause they used to have uh wrestling on on Saturday night. I guess and it was it used to just be a lot of uh a lot of like no name dudes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, like them little They'd have to like do It was like trying, the WWE and then it was like it was like It just, was it was dudes I guess it was dudes trying to to get their stripes in and stuff, you mm-hmm. know, make you pay dudes and they had to wrestle Jared Jack and shit. <laughs> like people I it was it was it because wasn't you don't even know. It more. wasn't like the rock on it or anything. I think sometimes I remember seeing them on it, but it was just kind of like repeats of yeah. Monday Night Raw and I could never we didn't have cable for the longest or we didn't have satellite, so I never got to watch Monday Night Raw. I would only be able to watch SmackDown because SmackDown was on regular TV. Yeah. So you would have to catch up of Monday Night Raw from watching SmackDown and then you catch up basically the whole week by on watching the Saturday, Saturday show. Cause they were, that Saturday they were, and that Sunday show. Didn't they yeah. have a Sunday show too? Where they just re- It was like Sports Center but for wrestling. I don't remember a Sunday. I show. remember there was like a sports center for wrestling. It would never show the full wrestling match. It would show like half of it, and then cut away and be like such and such won. But they never showed you how they won. It so they started like halfway through it, then they skipped around a little bit. I don't remember a Sunday. But it wasn't show. like a whole hour though. Uh, I'm gonna look that up. That sort of makes me want to go back to watching wrestling just for the nostalgia of it. I mean, you but can like, if you if you treat it as what it actually is. But it's is hard like, to now. If you treat it as an athletic soap opera, yeah. then you'll under then you'll be kind of back into the storyline. But you know, thinking that is real and learning that's pretty it's turned, not, it's, it's that's a different gone. thing. Yeah, it's gone. Uh, and my last one is Boondocks because Boondocks was such a phenomenon when it happened. Bruh, that show was amazing, and the fact that oh boy, just like up and was like, nah, I ain't fucking with it no more. The created Aaron McGruger, and then they made another season. They made the fourth that. season, but they made it with without him. Yeah, they made it with his partner, which I think was the guy who made helped make Atlanta hero. If I'm, I may be mistaken. The fourth season was definitely just a cash grab. It was it was the I didn't watch it just yeah. because uh the dude who wrote it. That's where that boondocks went from this comic sh- this it I don't it wasn't even a strip. It was usually just one frame yeah. of something happening. It went from that to a whole cartoon. And Bro. like the first two episodes of Boondocks I didn't like because it was different from what what the comic would be in the paper. It was like that much different. So I, I I wasn't on it, and then once I just accepted that it's going to be completely different, you know, then you you enjoy the 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 frivolous shit that happens on it, and then some of the uh, I actually had a, a extra five for so these are the honorable mentions a Cosby Show. Granted, no no don't shake your head because the Cosby Show itself was what we needed. I never liked the Cosby Show. You didn't like. I never liked the Cosby Show. Think about it. The Cosby Show was a black show that wasn't about the struggle. It wasn't about drugs. It wasn't about a come up or anything like that. It wasn't about poverty. It was just a successful family. Just just five days a week. 
Tom oh, well, seven days a week. It, most of the episodes are written by Angela Nissel and Rodney Barnes for that fourth season of Boondocks. I don't know who those people yeah, are. Yeah, Aaron McGruder never had nothing to do with it. Yeah, he was out on that one. Yeah, he was done. But, uh... Yeah, Bo- uh, Cosby Show. It was just it was just a black family. Both the both parents were educated and well off. They had their grandparents. Their grandparents were alive. It wasn't like it wasn't no, you know, dad had a secret. Grandpa had a secret family secret type family shit. It was some just shit. it was just hey, grandpa lives in a different city and sometimes visits and he has high drinks with dad. And <laughs> was, that was nobody, it. Was really about being a black suburban family, though. Yeah, and it, it was just that the kids, the you know, people just got into high drinks. Theo would not be doing his homework, or yeah. this sister. It would, was never nothing serious. Serious. Um, that was serious stuff, but it was never. It was never something. It was never to the to the like no one. It wasn't. It wasn't no. Yeah, it wasn't no hood problems like that. At worst, it was. At worst, to my memory, it was like, oh, Theo is getting bullied by somebody, so he needs to handle that. Or uh, one of the daughters is decides she's going to say, oh, we're spending the night at this girl's house for a slumber party, and she sneak. They sneak off to a concert. Yeah, some shit like like that. that. Basically, it was like white problems, but for black family. Well, not white problems. It was that it wasn't, it wasn't just hood stuff. Yeah, it wasn't good times where you know somebody's becoming a drug dealer or joining a gang. Yeah, or, somebody joins a fucking. It was basically the opposite of good times. Yeah, because good it, like good in times the most was sense, the, good times was straight up struggle, and bro, then Cosby Show was just straight like, up struggle. Cosby Show was like, oh, uh, Dad keeps buying records. <laughs> Dad keeps buying records. And he has nowhere to put them. Oh my God! He's making a mess. Cleo borrowed Dad's uh, collar shirt and ruined it. Now he has to try to get a dry clean and fix. I Good remember. times was somebody broke into the house and stole all the money. <laughs> so now we don't have. We got to try to figure out how to pay rent. <laughs> Good this time. depressing shit. Good times was sometimes stuff. Bro. Cosby Show. I remember one episode is when uh, all the kids were older. And, uh, somebody was getting married, and <laughs> she was the older sister. I don't remember who. There's an older sister. People forget that there's an older older sister. Yeah, but uh, I can't remember who was getting married on it. And, uh, it was like the guys in the the living room, and then um, one guy. One of them was like, oh, yeah, we're going to have, you know, the girls for your bachelor party. And he was like, nah, <laughs> nah, chill. <laughs> and then, like, throughout the episode, whoever it was, they, like, they kept getting into it for something. And um, she'd be like, so you just going to have strippers all over you? And he'll be like, I said no. And then she'd be like, no, you said no. <laughs> then she kept saying that shit. <laughs> <laughs> she was just so upset that that was even suggested. She kept, no, you said no. <laughs> it's just so funny. Like you didn't actually say no. You was just like nah. nah. But she just she would be she be yelling at this. It was so so obnoxious. I love how the show like it was focused on like the family at first, like, but then sort of focused on the kids and how they how their journey through life and shit, but. I forgot I want to change one of my my things. A different world. I didn't. I still haven't watched it. You still haven't watched a different world? No, because that's that's just like um, in Living Color. It's just too dated for my taste. Dog, a different world Be, was amazing. Like a different world. Nobody has a television, so <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So. Granted, it's, it's not that old. Nigga, it literally happened it after the Cosby Show. Yeah, that's the what? Cosby Show and it's, that read simultaneously. Yeah, so what? It's late eighties, early nineties, something like that. Fresh yeah. Prince was much more recent. Fresh Prince is much more recent. Yeah. That's that's why I like Fresh Prince more because Fresh Prince went from okay, there's no TV in the main house room, and then they changed the house Change the to house. basically where they're in a different room, and then people will watch TV. Nobody would just be. You know, I'm just on the couch reading. Right. <laughs> just like fucking Will Smith had a Sega and shit. That doesn't that doesn't match with my college yeah. experience. So yeah. it's whatever. And then I <laughs> and then I, di- I didn't watch a different world before. So me just sitting through what was it, eight seasons of that house? Nah, it wasn't <laughs> however seasons. many it was seasons. Way less. It was I, I got through like four or five. I, I I I didn't get through that many episodes. Maybe into the first one. But it's just it was just 
it was like school days except oh yeah it's it's like trying to go back to school days except school days is a good snapshot of that time yeah where in school days they're doing a bunch of different stuff they're not just hanging in their room for most of it school days is like they're always doing something yeah or a different world they're in college they're just in their rooms but there's no tv a tv was such a big just the fact of we're having a television in the room was such a big part of my college experience true like i definitely cashed out to get a, a decent tv yeah to play even though the cable on that bitch was trash but we didn't even watch it we watched movies yeah. we watched dvds like brandon had a dvd just mostly player video and stuff games. and we played if somebody was playing a game the rest of us might just be in their room while they're no, playing the game yeah. just talking noise to them uh i put martin i used to watch martin every I week martin. Night. i don't watch martin i watched martin every night it came on at 10 thir- at 10 o'clock on upn i watched it faithfully and then just judy would come on that's when i knew it's time to go to sleep <laughs> uh i watched good times every every saturday mm. i watched those reruns whatever it's it's good times it's yeah. iconic uh the wayans brothers that show was so funny i love the wayans brothers my bro favorite, one of my favorite episodes when they had a uh had their own perm compound <laughs> and oh, they, yeah. they made a commercial for it yeah. and it <laughs> wasn't it like burning people's scalps or yeah. some shit like that like it, it was, it was it smoking was, or some yeah shit? it was super toxic and then they were making a commercial for it and it was like it's called goop hair goop hair it is and it was like can i get some of that and marlon marlon says no my brother, brother you, you got, got to get, get your, your own, own. <laughs> that's my oh my goodness no, i my say brother, that to this you day got to get your own. that show was so funny <laughs> And the, they had a time where Sean and Marlon was doing so. I think they were competing for the same girl or Multiple something. Multiple episodes was about them competing <laughs> for the same girl. And then Sean put laxatives in Marlon's uh, in Marlon's drink. It was either Sean or it was, or it may have been a friend of theirs. Yeah. But he was more oh, Sean's yeah, friend than yeah, Marlon. He yeah. would pick on Marlon. <laughs> so Marlon takes his drink, it's, drinks it, and then he leaves. And dude was like, oh, Oh, he'll be back in a little bit. And he comes in holding his butt and sprinting for the bathroom. I remember weird stuff. Oh, my God. And they had the mom from Friday up there. Yeah, she was the security, was security guard. guard. And they got rid of her and they gave they moved it to a white security guard, I think. Oh, I can't remember. I know it was a white security guard and then it was a mom from Friday. And I can't remember who came first. I remember the black lady more. I remember the black lady I more, I don't remember yeah. a white security guard. There was a white security guard. A white lady. But they got, they brought, uh, they gave us the antics of, uh, Reese Witherspoon and shit. No. John Witherspoon. John Witherspoon. What? <laughs> I just remember Witherspoon. Gave yeah, us the antics of John Witherspoon. John Witherspoon. <laughs> he used to whoop that. Just, just pull out a belt. Start, take off my belt. <laughs> start, start wailing on him in the middle of a restaurant and shit. And, uh, Keenan and Kel. I love Keenan and Kel. Keenan and Kel so was, was hard, bro. That show was so funny. Keenan and Kel was hard, bro. He used to work at a grocery store, and Kel just used to be there all the yeah, time. Yeah, just show up and just be messing up. Just drinking the orange soda. She just yeah. nigga didn't even not, pay for it. Just pop the tab. Not hoes. Yeah. Keenan would always be trying to do some harebrained scheme, but then like the scheme would work, and... Until Kel showed up, yeah, <laughs> or until right? Kel did anything, Kel would just torpedo all of Keenan's kids. Keenan would be, oh, I want to go on a date with this girl, but I also got in trouble at home for not doing my homework because Kel was bothering me. Yeah, so I can't go on a date. So I'm gonna sneak date. out. I'm gonna sneak out. I'm gonna leave Kel out. here. I, that was an episode. He snuck out and he left Kel at the house, and, and he then, had to beg the sister not to tell. Or, or uh, what was one? Something about a teacher. I don't know. It was the whole, the show was that Keenan would do something, or Kel would get them in trouble, or into some hijink, and then Keenan would have just a terrible scheme. Yeah. To try to do something try to about get them it. out of it. Like, but oh, then I, it, it I made always a, fail. A D on my report card. I'm gonna get to the report card, change the grade, and then end up stuck to the paper, or <laughs> or fucking change right. the grades as everybody in the school, or some wild shit like that. So my, oh, if I do that, I can't go to the Chicago Bulls game. Let's see Michael Jordan play. Oh man, Kel just be just do shit just to do shit. 
they be trying to hide in the kitchen or something, and yeah. Kel would try to like sit in the trash can. Yeah, like, <laughs> like what the fuck? But Kel's parents were rocket scientists, right? <laughs> it was <laughs> like the moron. opposite of Urkel. There was one episode where I think Keenan was supposed to be feeding the neighbors fish, and Kel ends up taking all the fish out of the fish tank and then breaks the fish tank or something. Yeah. It's like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. This was such a simple thing. Bruh. While Keenan was looking for the freaking fish food and Kel <laughs> just freaking breaks the fish tank. <laughs> come on, bro. Oh, man. There was a lot of good black shows. It was. You just got you just, you just got to you, you look up a, a, a top black shows list and you're like, oh, I remember that. That's oh, I remember right, that. Uh... That's right, was up there among black shows. I watched. She it. was the first. She was the first black girl to ever have like her own like I, doll and shit. I, I don't think it was another black girl that had her own doll, like her own line of shit. I watched it, but I didn't watch Disney Channel content that much. Nah, I but know what I watched that. You know, I used to watch faithfully was Dave the Barbarian. That show was so <laughs> weird. Thing, just dated the fuck out of himself. This people listening like, damn dog, I ain't heard that name in forever. I, <laughs> Dave the Barbarian, the sword was seeing, and he had the the little barbarian sister. The little she was, barbarian and sister. And he yeah. he was he was this giant dude who he didn't want to be a barbarian. Moron. Yeah. Yeah, I remember Dave. I used to watch Dave the Barbarian all the time. Um, oh man. I don't remember any other shows I really watched on Disney Channel. Disney I, Channel? I used to try to watch uh, House of Mouse, but I never knew what time it came on. I can never know. I never knew what time it came on. Kim Possible. I did watch Kim Possible. Uh, Lizzie McGuire. No, I didn't watch Lizzie. I I didn't watch any live action stuff on Disney Channel. Action. Except for That's So Raven. I watched That's So Raven a little bit, but I didn't follow uh, shit, it. Shit, you gotta go way back. To, I, I can't remember none of the cartoons on, on this shit. I was watching most of the shit on Nickelodeon. Well, I did watch I did watch Disney Channel at elementary school. I used to watch Darkwing Duck every night. I watched Darkwing Duck and Gargoyles. Gargoyles I knew my shit. I used to know that I would watch Darkwing Duck and then... If I got past the episode of Gargoyles, it's like, oh boy, I'm up late. <laughs> it's, it's 11 o'clock. <laughs> Time to go to sleep. Ugh. It's 11 o'clock. It's not going to be worth anything tomorrow. And, and then Adult Swim started, so I started staying up to, hey. a, to midnight. Staying up past midnight was tough for me before, uh, before high school ended. If I was up to midnight, it's like, man, I'm really a degenerate tonight. <laughs> I'm God. really... Really pushing my limits. I used to stay up. I used to stay up every Friday, knowing that the next, like that evening, you had a game or some shit. So I would just be the fuck up, like <laughs> just be up. And see, Friday was <laughs> Friday used to be. What was Fridays on Tsunami? I know, I know. Adult Swim used to have just the weirdest stuff on Friday. Fridays, Fridays I, was nothing. I hated Fridays. Fridays was on nothing. Cartoon Network. It was just like reruns, I think. And then Saturdays would be anime, and then Sundays would be cartoons. Yeah, sat Saturdays was dope on yeah. uh, Toonami because that was straight up anime. Yeah. Or was it Fridays was cartoons, oh. and then Saturdays was anime? Yeah, I think Friday was like cartoon cartoons yeah. and stuff like whatever happened to Robot Jones. I remember, I remember having that. That's show. what it was. It was car- it was Fridays was the cartoon cartoons. Cause I remember uh, do- putting together like model kits. Whatever happened to Robot show. Jones? Oh my god, dog! <laughs> How many seasons you think that hoe had? <laughs> it's fucking two. <laughs> oh man, what was uh, Samurai Jack? Yeah, Samurai Jack used to come on on Fridays. That wasn't a five day a week show. Um. Yeah, Adult Swim, if I got to midnight, it's like, okay, I'm up late. And then once I got to college, it's like, oh, so we're just up till 2 a.m. for no yeah, reason. that's just the thing we do now. Okay. <laughs> that's just my life now. I am, up to, <laughs> I am up to 1, 2, and 3 a.m. for no reason. We yep. used to be up to 3 a.m. just playing Smash Bros. or something. It's like, what are, what are we doing? We've been here since <laughs> we came back from dinner at the cab at like 7.30, and we've been in this one room playing Smash Bros. for the last six hours. <laughs> What's wrong with us? Nigga, we, we, have, we still have class tomorrow. We was degenerate. We'd be up to, to 3 in the morning drinking and smoking outside and, and the fucking... Because that's just something that you did. Like, you was allowed to smoke and no one... Shit. And that's one of the no hardest... Give a fuck. That's one of the hardest things to break is staying up all night. Bro, it is. Even now. But so, it was just fun. Like That's just what you did. You yeah. were just hanging with people. Even mm-hmm. now, I get, all this to, dope shit I get to 12.30 and it's just like, oh, well, my brain is reactivated now. I'm going to look <laughs> up all the things I should have been looking up at 6.30. Right. 
Nigga, shit just happens. Niggas get into fights and shit in the dorms and shit. I've right. definitely seen yeah, a lot right. of niggas fight after like twelve in the morning. Because people don't people don't behave <laughs> properly oh, man. past ten thirty. Uh Bitch. I rank I, I was listening to Lupe, all the Lupe albums at work the other day. And I was like, I should I should rank the albums. What cause I listened to I went back and listened to Lasers. And you know, I hated Lasers when it came out, and after it came out, I really didn't like it because it was so such a far cry from what Lupe had put out. And granted, he granted he kept having to go through just weird, some of the weirdest ordeals just to be able to put out his albums on his. I mean, because he, he always thought he was better than. Everybody he rapping, which is true. This nigga's a better rapper than most people. No, it wasn't even that. It was just that they didn't. They just his labels just refused to put out his music Probably until he, until he made it how they wanted it to come out. I don't know if it was because how other people were being able to come out, you know, being able to find success and stuff, where they just wanted him to do what they were doing. Yeah, to get that success, but it's it's like. You just let Lupe make what he makes. That's the point. That's why we like Lupe. He does what he wants. The way he does it is how we want it. So just give us that. I mean, the way I see it is a lot of labels, a lot of labels, I was thinking about this the other day, a lot of labels, they want everybody to be Drake. Like, well, that's their goal is to everybody to be, like, a Drake status because they make the more money. The more you sell them, the better. Yeah, you. you can't yeah, be like getting, Lupe who has a core audience. They don't want core audience rappers they want commercial they want they you want to be able super to play on the radio. rappers yeah i and definitely that was the the start of drake's ascension because uh thank me later came out in oh, 2010 no, no it didn't come oh, out it, in over. it came out 2010 it came 2010. out in 2010 yeah and that was what five singles off that hoe <laughs> what was it uh it was oh that's been so long. that's not even my favorite that's nowhere near my favorite drake album Later, hey, he definitely had the singles off that mug. I know he had. Uh... See how you look up the singles. It was over. Find your love, miss me, and fancy. Was it? It was four singles. But then at the same time, he started being on a bunch of other people's tracks. True. Wayne tracks, Wayne Eminem tracks, tracks, Eminem tracks. Fucking. I guess everybody decided that you know if. Drake can make a bunch of radio singles and have a song every 10 minutes on the radio, then that's what we want now. I mean, that was basically 2000, 2009 to 2011. Yeah. 2010, 2011, 2012, Drake was on the radio. Constantly. On everybody's track. Everybody wanted Drake on their track. Constantly. Drake had to have at least five songs on, on the radio at one point going. It was... It was it was yeah. He had enough to fill a whole Drake hour. It bro. was crazy. That was <laughs> that was something else. So you know, Lasers comes out. I hated it. Next album with Lupe's. They still didn't want to put it out. Motherfuckers had to protest for the shit again. And so I went back listening to Lasers. Lasers is not that bad. Lasers was, if anything, it was kind of the flip to the to the to the rap blend that you know, that Lupe and Wale were doing where instead of just doing traditional hip hop kind of beats constantly they were doing more trying to try to diversify their uh well not trying it was just they were exploring their tastes like Wale doing Wale kind of adding go go and then Lupe adding dubstep and stuff. Yeah, but and, you know they pop. go on this shit like Lupe. Lupe from from the DMV area, so you know that no, go go shit. Wale, I'm bugging. Wale from the DMV area, so him then, being on and electro Wale, beats is not Wale, nothing new. Wale had um, yeah, I think he works better on electro beats than he does on like trap beats and shit. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't care for Wale on trap beats. If yeah. it's if it's just a hip hop, like back to the feature. Yeah. Granted, it's old as hell, but all those beats were like nice wonder beats and different people. Yeah. So they weren't just 
Atlanta trap beats, and they were really good. It's, there's yeah. nothing, you know, you don't have to do one or the other, but I feel like he's not. I mean, I feel like. Well, the way, okay, I feel that he's a little more himself if it's not a trap beat. Yeah. He's not doing, yeah. he's not kind of, he's not kind of playing down to it. Yeah, for lack of a better way. Basically, when you say he's, that, that when you when he gets on the trap beat, he's playing down like he's well, not he's kind of boxing him. He, he boxes himself. Yeah, he's in. playing into their box. He's not taking a trap yeah. beat and saying instead of rapping how the trap rappers rap on it, I'm gonna rap a different way on that same kind of beat. Yeah, I mean he's starting to do that, but that was, that was just then. He's, but then it just conflicts his style though, because it's like trap beats, you know, usually be be bass heavy. You know what I'm saying? Slower beats. And yeah, Wale use- likes to spit. And you can't just spit on a trap beat. And so it's I, it, like hearing his voice try yeah. to spit. And it kind of takes away from it. Yeah, it doesn't sound good. It doesn't sound that great, which I think kind of fucked him up. But I think that's what happened when he when he signed to, instead of just staying his path and staying independent, which is always, I always advocate well, for Well, he artists. was on Interscope. He was on Interscope, then, but they dropped him. Yeah, they they did, they did basically just didn't try. Yeah. And it he was, had that first album. It, they, it, he didn't smash it sell and shit and so they just like whatever and then uh, this is so weird why do record labels do this <laughs> cause they they, cause they lame they, as fuck a bunch s- of niggas with no talent trying to tell niggas with talent they sign them and then and then oh well we're not you're just not gonna have an album out cause it's it, like come on dog the point of getting the artist is for him to sell so how about this push them cause while I got basically no push how about this push them then we like, we geek we we're we're excited for the album. Then we go get the album. It's like, come on, dog. Why are y'all half assing? I that? think, but they had so many big names on Interscope. They had Gaga. They had yeah, because his first uh, single was with Gaga. Yeah, but still, I mean, if you gonna sign the person, put you know, put some effort behind him. I At mean, least but, the first. But one. you know, at the, at, around his time is when the internet really started, you know, popping like. You could actually make money off this internet shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, Justin Bieber had just been signed off of, you know, being on YouTube for whatever. So, Justin Bieber probably the first artist to ever, like, really flip the whole industry around. Like, he... he no, could. it's Soulja Boy. No, no, I'm, I'm not saying... I'm not saying, like... Soulja Boy made it possible for Justin Bieber... To, I mean, to, but no, to but rise up. The difference Soulja is Boy, Just, Justin Bieber was the child star version. Justin Bieber made the pop f- five, six, seven years earlier than anybody else had made the when pop. Soldier Boy drop. Soldier Boy didn't drop till like two thousand five. Oh, let me see. Uh, yeah, the Superman. Like, but all all the stuff of his that popped was old. <laughs> That's the weird part. All of his stuff that pop was old and stuff. But uh, but what I mean by that, I'm saying like, like okay, Soldier Boy. We all knew the Superman was from MySpace, right? Yeah. So sort of just passing around, but but see, Justin Bieber was what on YouTube? Yeah, he was on YouTube and and, and home video stuff. So that was the next evolution because we we basically abandoned MySpace. True. So Justin Bieber. You're was right. was the it next was 2007 yeah so justin bieber was, was the next evolution and justin bieber was pop that was the thing true he was definitely super pop it was super pop yeah uh we definitely gotten far away from what we actually so i was like i should rank lupe albums uh first things first is the cool period um so many hits Every time I listen to the cool, I just get goosebumps. The cool is is what 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 you can do when you just let your artist be your artist and you give them yeah, the just let them do them. And instead of trying to, to dictate what the sound should be and yeah. oh this is gonna sell more records if you do it like this. But I'm not that type of artist, so why would I do it like that? Yeah, and dude, make dude, myself look stupid. The cool was a hundred percent Lupe on a mission, and he had that was Lupe. I have a I have a story that I want to tell. I want it to sound like this. It and we got it. it. I mean, he made Superstar. Superstar was Superstar hard. Superstar is one of the greatest songs ever made. Mm-hmm. Period. Dumb it down. Okay, so number two, I put Food and Liquor. Because Food and Liquor goes hand in hand with the cool. Paris but, Tokyo. But, um. 
hip hop saved my life. I feel like food and liquor just goes on a little bit longer than I than I care for it. Because once you get liquor. once I get to the end of food and liquor, I'm kind of like, ah, okay, I'm cool out for this. <laughs> Uh, I like food and liquor. I Didn't like they have daydream up there. Yeah, I like it, but I think food and liquor just goes on a little bit too long. Uh, it's it's just mean, a little. It's like two. It's like three tracks too long for me. Uh, I could have left out like Emperor soundtrack, Kick Push Two, and outro. No, I like Kick Push Two. You like Kick Push Two? Uh, what's the song before the Emperor song? Uh, American Terrorist. See, I don't care for American Terrorist is good once you sit down and listen to it, but. I'm not. I'm not just like oh, American Terrors. I'm a. Li-. It's like nah. I have to get that within context, and I don't care for the Emperor soundtrack. Never did. Uh, I like the mixtape version of Kick Push too. It's a little sadder. Uh, <laughs> Tetsu on Youth because that was just that was just Lupe yanking off his shirt and showing off his abs. That's what Tetsuo Tetsu on Youth was. That was like. Lupe was just straight up flexing on us that he could do this rap shit. And he proved it. Uh number four is Droga's Light, just because you could just turn it on and just let it let it go. And yeah, it has some. he he was banging on that mug. And it's literally the light version of the album that just came out that I don't have. And then Food and Liquor too, just because that was that was the, the Lupe back album after Lasers and we couldn't get an album out of him because his record label was, was doing, like, oh, they was doing for a long weird. Time. That was just so weird. Like we had to basically campaign <laughs> to get this shit out. Like, look, them the Food and Liquor came out in two thousand six. His next album was Lasers in two thousand eleven. I think that's how. It, let me see. You mean the cool? Wait, let me see. The cool? No, Food and Liquor came out two thousand. Oh yeah, the 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 cool was two thousand seven, and then. Yeah, his next his next and, true album was Laser. So a whole four years later, yeah. And then he had Food and Liquor two, and then he didn't release Drugger's Light until five years later. They were holding the shit out. No, of No, there's still Tesla on Youth. Oh, I forgot Tesla on Youth. I'm bugging. Why am I? Just go to his Wikipedia. I am. Man. I'm technically. I keep, the, but they don't have it in. They don't have it in chronological order. It is in order. No, no, I'm because I'm not on. I'm on fucking Google. I'm stupid. And then the last one is lasers. The last one's lasers for yeah. sure. It's all right. It's not. It's not great. It's it's doable. Once you go back to it, and you just once you once I took out my prejudice for just disliking the album. <laughs> once once I didn't. Song. Once I didn't hate the album anymore. Yeah. Once I didn't hate <laughs> it's it. Okay. Just, once I stopped hating it just for the fact that it sounded different from what he had been doing, and we were just so heavy into the mixtapes because you can just play all his mixtapes you can just play them at any time what's your favorite lupe verse there's no favorite lupe verse i, I love most favorite, of them i can tell you my favorite lupe verse if i like the song i know the song that uh child Re- rebel soldier song he did with pharrell and kanye west no his verse he murdered that shit um Speaking of like mixtapes and shit, what is what the hell's Dom Kennedy been up to? Uh, he's doing a lot of shit. Nigga's a businessman, but he has an album coming out soon. Here's the thing: I've never got into Dom Kennedy. Um, in the in the same fashion of several people, Big Crit, Cool Kids, recent Chip the Ripper. Um, uh, who else was who else was dope at that time? And I just didn't listen to him. Uh. uh Oh fuck! Shit. Well, whoever, all those people. Most of the niggas on 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 currency label. <laughs> I know that's not true. Uh, <laughs> just just he just for no reason. I never listened to Dom Kennedy. Dom Kennedy's just, good. I just never did. There was no there was no true reason for I his just skills never did. are kind of falling off. Though I don't know what the fuck it is, but like he he went from uh from 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 uh Los Angeles with love. That shit was hard, and then he put out. He put out. Uh, get I thought home it was safely. from the West Side. With from love. the West Side with love, and then get home safely. Those was dope. And then his next album was not that great. His whole his the way he rapped just sort of changed. He went from being like I'm rapping to like I'm just talking on the beat, and I want you to hear it. And I hate that shit. Like it was so it was so uh, like like uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, where the tone is just like yeah. 
think it's like mellow, not melodramatic. Uh, he just, uh, he mellowed out too much. Yeah, like he was just like he was high the whole time. And just like uh, I don't even want to be here, but I'm gonna rap on this beat because I have a contractual obligation to. Hey guys, what how was, you doing? What was the album? It seemed like everybody was was excited for what? What was a yellow album? Oh yeah, I forgot. I about think the it was. Album. And after that, I just never heard. Anybody talk but about no, Don was, Kennedy what was anymore? The first one? It was. Let me look at my artist on my thing, cause I can. Albums. You, you really. Um, Los Angeles not for sale. That was pretty hard. By Dom Kennedy was not that great. Then you have from West Side. So with Yellow Love. Album is a mixtape. Yellow Album is a mixtape. Okay, that was the la- that was that was literally the last buzz I heard about Don Kennedy. That was twenty twelve. I remember hearing him say something about get home safely on get somebody home else's song. Was hard, nigga. And I that that was it. I never heard anybody say anything about Don Kennedy ever again. That was just he the just, weird part. Cause after a while, he just like after get home safely, he was like, "Oh, we like we wait for this follow up," and nigga just disappears like. Like I guess if you was following him, uh, on, he on. didn't put anything out in 2014. So no. get home safely was 2013. You go 2014, nothing. Then you get 2015. Yeah. He releases an album and a mixtape from the West Side with Love. Then we get home safely. They don't even have um, mixtapes. Okay, there it is. I'm on Wikipedia. 2015 was best after Bobby too. The original Dom Kennedy was pretty good. The Yellow album was 2012. That was pretty good. Best after Bobby too. I did not like. Addicted to the Underground is supposed to. Oh, it came out July fifth. So, but he has a new song called uh, new album called uh, Los Angeles Life for Sale. That's pretty. It, it has it has like maybe one or two songs up there I really like. But he's he's not like the same. You know what I'm saying? No, no. Used to hear about Dom all the time. Now I don't. Right. Um. So. Who California, I think it was Katie Texas. Nolan was on Bill Simmons podcast, yeah. and you know who Chris Carter is. No. Uh, well, now the, that just takes the air out of the story. But basically, <laughs> basically, she had a show on ESPN. Chris Carter is one of those uh, talking head dudes that was with ESPN before. Yeah. Who you know guests talks and stuff. Yeah. And um, I think they were at the Super Bowl at Super Bowl Fifty One, and. She's from, she's, I guess, I think she's from Boston. I would assume so. And so, uh, I don't remember how, I I watched the video, but I don't, I don't remember why they were getting into it. But, you know, it's Patriots and the Falcons. And Chris Carter brings up uh, Spygate and Deflategate and stuff. And she, she was like, Deflategate was BS. Um, all the science proved it. All the theories dis- disproved the the idea that they were deflating footballs the very next season, another team was found to have have uh, underinflated footballs. Yeah. And Aaron Rodgers actually prefers it overinflated because he got big hands, so he get a grip on it. And the whole thing was BS, and they still got back. And he was like, "Oh, the Patriots cheating!" So, so. Oh, I remember it was because Tom Brady's dad uh, was chirping on the radio about something. And they were debating whether or not, well, not debating, but they were kind of discussing it. And he threw a dig at Tom about Tom Brady, and then talk about the Patriots cheat because of Spygate. And he said that they um, record practices, which, and then she got mad. Well, not mad, but she she fires back at him, and she was, you know, that's literally not what happened at Spygate. Uh, I I would prefer if you. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, not that, but but sh- you know, I preferred you'd actually speak the truth about what happened instead of just the media headline version. <laughs> First of all, she didn't even want him on the show because she knew that he wasn't ready for her show format. Hers is more like she can; they just kind of talk. Yeah. So if she wants to interject, she can interject versus like a- versus first take where there's a host. And then the whoever are the guests or the speakers, they can do whatever their spiel and then throw it back to the host. You know, the oh, host doesn't really yeah. interject, but on her show, it's just them at a table just talking. So basically it's like and a so, podcast, but on a show. 
Uh, no, not really. But oh. <laughs> they got into it, and I was uh, after hearing that, I was, I was thinking, you know what? What really did happen in Spygate? So Spygate was for those who don't know. Spygate was that the Patriots were recording uh, games, weren't they? Yeah, but they were recording games where they would record the coaches. Uh, hand signals, oh. and then, rec- and then splice it with the very next play. Okay. Now apparently that's not disallowed. In a way, and they were recording it from an area on the field that they, an area in the stadium that they weren't allowed to record. So they got, you know, they got fined for it. They lost a draft pick. The the commission wanted to confiscate all the tapes. The Patriots like no, these hoes ain't leaving the facility. So the <laughs> the NFL, the league, that's fucked up. The league, yeah, office, we did something wrong, but we not going like. I guess they didn't. Gonna. I guess they didn't want any leaks, so the league had to. They had to come and personally smash the tapes at the Patriots facility, <laughs> which is. I guess that's a flex. I don't know. <laughs> no, we're not. These tapes aren't leaving the and, facility. And then there Nigga, was yeah, they is the, the fuck. The thing that people latch on to is that there was a guy who was saying that the Patriots uh, were recording the Rams practice for the previous Super Bowl. And so uh, he he was saying that um, he wasn't going to talk unless he got, immu- you know, immunity or some bullshit. Basically, it was like a, a photographer for the team or whoever or whatever, and he was at. Uh, I'd have to go back and read Unless it. But, immunity. What you mean, nigga? You're not going to jail for the shit. The fuck? But uh, it was a photographer for the team, and he went to, I guess, whatever field or practice field or stadium that, and he was setting up. He was setting up a camera, and the team was practicing. Oh, so he. He was trying to say that they were recording the team's recording practice. Team practice, and then when once it all got to it, he didn't have shit. <laughs> so he he, he was, was just basically just shit. yeah he was basically just a whistleblower trying to get some money out of it. Pretty much. So that's what really happened. They just were recording coach hand signals. And I mean, technically, you you shouldn't be able to do that. But uh, the rule the rule was pretty was pretty iffy about it it was and it, i think the thing was that they were recording from a low from a uh they were a recording. location in the stadium that wasn't was allowed on, on the field i think i think the location and then like the the nature of what they were recording wasn't allowed but it it wasn't as big a deal though you can't record you can't record. You should okay, be videotaping record. Uh, opposing coaches is not illegal. <clears throat> it's not illegal, but there are designated areas allowed by the league to do such statement. Because the Patriots were instead videotaping just coaches from their own sideline during the game, NFL commissioner deemed it to be in a violation of league rules, stating that the act represented a calculated and deliberate attempt to avoid longstanding rules designed to encourage fair play and promote honest competition on the playing field. Uh, should be allowed to record coaches. Period. Like, I mean, they got eighty million cameras in it. Now. I mean, but you if you just go that do that, like, oh, if I find some tape of the nigga recording, but if I'm deliberately recording this coach to try to catch his hand signals to see what plays he uses each hand, that's that's a, that, immediately but, a disadvantage but, for my team. No, here's I mean for their team. Here's the Patriots kind of argument: it's not outside of the rules to record. That means other teams can do it. Yeah, it's not like nobody else can do it. That's that's we the just, we were the dickheads who decided to break the rules and do it. <laughs> well, we were the ones that got got uh got made an example of. <laughs> that's it. There. They should just take the rule away. Period. Like, don't you can't. Well, you you, they you can't, can get film. Well, and, and you can get film that's of not even, coaches, but that's not, not even you can't a, deliberately record. Well, a that's coach. why that's why they have the big laminated sheet. And they always cover their faces when now, they yeah. uh call out plays through the headset and shit. So that's Spygate. Um, PlayStation Classic. Fuck that shit. Why? Why would they do that? Here, here's, because Nintendo put out the SN, SNES and the NES Classics. Here's, here's the thing about that. <clears throat> With every console that Nintendo put out, they made grand changes to the controllers. Yeah. So playing 
a NES is that specific square as controller. Playing yeah. the SNES is that that weird shape. Playing N sixty four is a totally different shape. That's kind of the nostalgia of it. It's a different shape. Yeah. So you get the different feel. If you play a free if you play a SNES game with a Nintendo sixty four controller, the whole button layout is gonna be different. Yeah, it, yeah. it doesn't even have a Y. It just has the C button. So it's yeah. a whole different feel. That's where you can get away with that. Cause the button arrangement is different. PlayStation, the controller, the controller setup has not changed. I'll, from PlayStation One to PlayStation adding, Two, no, they just add the the do the, the freaking du- uh, thumbsticks. The dual shot. PS Two, Three, and Four is the same layout. The only difference is this big. The, the PS Four has the big square button yeah. and stuff. But other than that, it's pretty much the same. Square button. You don't. You're not pressing that for specific. Uh, you're not doing freaking quick times with the shit. No. There's no point. You just put the classic PlayStation games on the play on the PS Store and just let them hoes be free downloads. My whole thing is, <clears throat> why would I fucking want classic PS PS One games? Like, f- for what? Are they gonna be the same? Like, you know what I'm saying? Are they gonna be not the graphics, but like, is the resolution gonna be the same? No. If it's not, if it's not if, really, yeah, no, I'm saying if it's not, yeah. not enough to gain anything, yeah. unless you just want to play PS1 games with an HDMI cord, yeah, that's all, that's with, all it is. It with, comes with an HDMI cord, without, so it's like, <laughs> look, without uh, using an emulator, that's about it. But I got the hiccup. How many PS1 games do you really want to play? How maybe, many PS1 games maybe, do you really remember? Maybe Final Fantasy. That's Seven? about it. I don't remember. I mean, what else? I, I can't. No, think of, nothing. It, was, I can't it think has of, to be games made by Sony because no other game, no other gaming company is going to license their shit to Sony. You feel me? Oof. To to put on their little machine. No idea. Sony has to buy these titles. That's what I'm saying. People be paying, and this shit costs a hundred dollars, nigga. It's not like it's fifty bucks. If it was like fifty bucks, okay. Fifty bucks for some little classic machine. I Let's fuck see. with. What's what's on the PlayStation? <clears throat> Let me see. <clears throat> Shit. And then Nintendo had all those games <clears throat> in Japan that you couldn't play too. Let's see PlayStation Classic. Let's see if they have a list. It says twenty preloaded games. They only gave you. They only gave you uh, a a few of them. Image gallery. Let me see. I have to go to a different page. What are the preloaded games on the PlayStation Classic? I personally wouldn't pay for none of that shit. No, I'm just going to emulate them hoes. Just going to emulate them hoes. <laughs> play with a modern controller. Fuck all that extra shit. It doesn't say what games list. You can't even download. You can't put new games up there and, you know what I'm saying, download the games onto the Classic. Same way you can't do it with the SNES or or the NES, they have to be updated. So you have games put up there and taken off depending on how the licensing works and shit. You feel me? So if I pay, if I pay basically a hundred dollars to play fucking, I, I guess since, um, uh, I guess since Nintendo was cracking down on people using emulators, was it yeah. Nintendo? Yeah. Well, I guess since I guess since, a lot of season and shit. Yeah. They shut down uh what's, they what They shut was, down entire emulator websites yeah. and stuff. I guess since Nintendo doing the crackdown is is safer to just have the whole classic thing versus using the emulator. Nah, fuck that shit. I'm still gonna use an emulator. I'm definitely playing emulator again. Yeah, bro, play. torrent site still exists. <laughs> you can definitely get a whole bunch of em- emulators, em- ROMs and shit from fucking a torn site. I can't, Trust me. I can't find the games list. Uh, it's only they only announced a few. That's also kind of shaky because why would you tell me there's gonna be twenty preloaded games up there but only announced? Yeah, I can't like four or five. I can't find the list. I'm not getting that shit. Uh, so, what are some? Here, here's something crazy. Have Have you heard? Of the AFL and the ABA, American Football League, American Basketball League. I I, I heard a little bit about the ABA. You I've need never heard of the AFL, dude. You need to watch the freaking thirty for thirties on them hoes. Them shits was the wild west. People was just flat out wasn't getting paid. There was dudes. Uh, I think it was the the AFL where one dude was just basically like a bouncer. 
<laughs> oh and, yeah, the AFL to, was just niggas, there was, just people who off the street wanted there to play was, football. There was one coach who would, who would, uh, if a player messed up, he he'd actually physically like hit you upside the head or something. And he used to fight players if they would do stuff wrong. Uh, there was one dude who was who was just a straight up G. <laughs> Ooh, I think shit, it was you might have to get on this. I think it was the uh the San yeah I think there was a San Antonio team. And the owner ran out of money. So when they would get their checks, it would be a race to the next town to be able to de- to deposit your check. Because if you were only maybe the first 20 of them hoes would actually be able to go through. What the fuck? <laughs> only the first 20 of them hoes would actually be able to go through and the rest would bounce. And then one dude was supposed to get like $11,000 from the from the owner and the owner didn't have the money to pay him so he drove he followed the owner home to his mansion and, and, and confronted him at his front gate it was like either i get paid or one of us ends up in the trunk of the other's car wow. and so the owner runs into the house and brings him back a sack of money <laughs> bro this stuff was wild you gotta hear the stories and who then, started that shit um, I don't remember. It's basically just other people. You know, Donald Trump was uh, a AFL owner, and he he basically tanked the league because the AFL would play in the spring. So you get the NFL in the winter, Super Bowl, and then the AFL season started. Donald Trump wanted the AFL to move to the fall and winter so to compete, with, compete with, with the NFL. And, and they listen to this dumb nigga. They couldn't get the deal for it. It was before everybody knew he was dumb. <clears throat> that was the thing. He wasn't just just publicly dumb. At that time, he was just Donald Trump, the businessman, who was kind of an asshole. It's kind of terrible. Didn't he have? He what was, time? What what, what? 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 did he bankrupt those casinos that he had? Those casinos that were doing good that he personally made sure they bankrupted. I don't like, know. The AFL was in the eighties, I think. Like he had three people running his casinos, and they were doing their money. They were making money. And then, like, he tried to do that with that Megalith Casino, and then that bitch was just, like, that shit, it had a great opening, and they just instantly lost money. People stopped going to it for whatever reason. The AFL was from 1960 19, to yeah. 1960. Oh, so it was the 60s. That's way older. And... He merged with the NFL. <laughs> Holding yes. the Kansas City Chiefs. The Kansas City Chiefs. <laughs> Champions. Oh my god. Yeah, and then uh Donald Trump tried to do a a, a, a monopoly suit on the NFL. <laughs> and they they were actually going to win. The judge ruled that the NFL uh had a monopoly on the TV deal. But the thing is is that uh Donald Trump basically he didn't torpedo it. He just cuz torpedo would be that he did it on purpose. He he was so stupid that he ruined it. And he backwards Ma- fell into a ruined deal. Well, not he. It was well, just, no, he, he just he just wouldn't let enough be alone, and he ruined it. They said, uh, first first of all, that the NFL commissioner, or whoever, told him privately that uh, even if he did, if he actually went through with the suit, that he wasn't go. You know, it was basically going to ruin the league, and he was like, I don't care. I don't care. And then uh when they were when he I think when he was testifying or something, he was like staring daggers at like the prosecutor trying to intimidate him or something like that. He was trying to intimidate somebody. And so when they won, uh the judge was like, Oh yeah, fuck y'all. And they were only they were only they only had to pay the AFL a total of one dollar. Wow. <laughs> and they 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 actually, and, uh, the NFL commissioner, uh, I think it was the NFL commissioner, pulls a dollar out of his and wallet and <laughs> throws Trump. it at Donald Trump. The fuck out of here. And nigga. then, uh, basically, the AFL went bank. I don't know if they went bankrupt before it or after. It was basically that Donald Trump torpedoed the league. And then they merged. Now they merged with the NFL. Well, he got on torpedoed, and then yeah. uh, the NFL just agreed that he would never own the NFL team because that's basically what he wanted. Was to own an NFL team, and they 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 shut him out. 
<laughs> and then they actually wrote him the check for one dollar. That shit was so you. There's a thirty for thirty on it. You need to watch the thirty. I'm for probably 30. watch that. That's a lit. Just toss a dollar at that nigga here. Go get you a Big Mac. Hey, you bitch ass go. <laughs> get you a Donald so steak. <laughs> the fuck out of here, nigga. Donald Trump, bro. How did this man? And the ABA, president? the ABA was wild. The freaking uh, owner of the ABA made the ball red, white, and blue because his eyesight was bad. And he figured that if he uh, changed the color scheme of the ball, it'd be better Better noticeable on TV. And then in the first games, they hadn't uh, actually had the balls manufactured in time. So they just painted a regular basketball before the game. So it was painting on people's hands. And then he never trade. He never uh, trademarked the actual ball color scheme. So he never made any money from it. Dog, the Houston Oilers was a part of the AFL. Yeah, it was all the all the that weird. explains a lot. Oakland Raiders, New York Jets. Yeah, there's a lot of AFL teams. I want, I kind of want all like the AFL and the in in the ABA jerseys and stuff. That'd be kind of dope. I'm gonna get them hoes. I'm Just trying this, to see all the teams that was in there, but they don't really have teams. It was a bunch of weird teams, freaking, freaking uh, the Gunslingers. I think it was like the San Antonio Gunslingers and shit. <laughs> Speaking of the Hobbit, uh, what are some what? <laughs> <laughs> it's all Jalen and Jacob. Uh, I remember before you talk about white names that you would reject on oh, applications. Yeah. Uh, any Irish O something name O'Connor, O'Shaughnessy, O'Connor, O'Connor, O'Hanner. I don't care if you white or black. If your name is O something, you I'm rejecting it out. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Daniel O'Connor's next. Sarah, like Sarah O'Connor from Terminator? Nah, that nah. bitch not getting hired here. Nah, you can't come work for us. Nah. But I have a master's in. No, you can't work. Get out of my office. Your, your, <laughs> yours is going into file 13. A business was caught today putting white people's applications in <laughs> the trash. Straight up Colt McCoy. If I see. <laughs> Colt McCoy. If I ever see Colt McCoy's enabled an application, I immediately here, rejected that house. Get the fuck out of here. Go, I don't... Go, go back to your, 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 your fucking <laughs> horses and shit, nigga. <laughs> go. If you try to be serious, nigga, try to become an accountant or something. Go, beco- go become a rancher, my guy. Yeah, you, fuck you, out of here, nigga. Go become a rancher, my stop, guy. You do go, not belong in the suburbs. Go stop the go stop the, the, the terrible twos gang or some shit. Fuck out of here with that sheriff ass name. Anybody with Baker the, Mayfield. Any anybody with the first name Mitch or Mitchell? Oh yeah. You're definitely white. You're not yeah, black at yeah. all. No Mitch. black people named so I'm not calling Mitch. you Mitch. No. Only, only Mitch we recognize is money making Mitch. That's it. And he's fictional, so he yeah. doesn't count. No. Definitely. No. Mitch. Mr. Mr. Trubisky? Nah, no. I'm not hiring him. <laughs> if you if you got if you got a name with three consonants next to next to himself, like with no vowels anywhere, <laughs> you're not getting hired by me, bro. And then I'm uh, sorry. The, if last, the last thing I thought of was random unnecessary Greek names. This also counts for black people, unfortunately. Uh if his name's Adonis no. Oh no. If his name's fucking Zeus, Aries, no, no. Pluto, Hercules, no. Jupiter, no. Saturn, no. I'm no. Black people love naming their kids Adonis. They ain't never even nothing, no nothing the about ran, Greek, Greek mythology Greek at all. Names and shit. It was a dude. At, Adonis. It was a dude in college. He had, he had a uh, some kind of Greek name. I don't remember. What, I have no idea what his actual name was. I just remember what. I remember hearing people call him. Yeah. I was like, why would why would you do that? It, yeah. It's, Achilles. It's just a just this dude is just a random light skinned nigga with glasses. He literally could have been named Craig and <laughs> it would not have moved the needle at all. Nigga Adonis. Don't know shit about Greek mythology. Just be like, oh, no. oh I like the name Adonis. Or oh, no. Fuck Adonis because they watch Hercules. I mean, because they watch uh 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 Rocky too much. Adonis. Just, What's gonna name? His no. name's gonna be I'm re- I'm re- Adonis. I'm rejecting people, those white ass names. People didn't like black people, so like uh oh, remember the um the the super popular Ken Ken Pilski uh O'Shea Hennessy O'Shea A <laughs> Ron A A Ron like I said I mean he's like here oh oh if you he was here how come you didn't how come you didn't uh answer here when I asked the first time. He's like, huh? I mean, I'm just saying, like, you know what I'm saying? I called you twice and you didn't say here. Now all of a sudden you say here. 
He's like, why? How come? I just want to know why. He's because it's uh, air. <laughs> God damn it! He snapped the clipboard. <laughs> Oh, Denise, really? Denise, 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 Denise. <laughs> Say with me now, Denise. Thank you. <laughs> hey, so um. Oh, Shag Hennessy. <laughs> what's a weird thing is how many movies Will Smith passed on. After I seen that list you put up there, that's, he passed on. Why did he pass on like he's, he passed on multiple he passed million on some dollar sh- he passed movies? On some shit. Dog. He passed on the just Matrix. to make Last Earth. <laughs> he passed on the Matrix, bro. That is insane. The Matrix, Osmosis Jones. Well, Osmosis Jones is kind of it's kind of hit Jones or miss. Is an amazing movie. Fuck what you talking about. I don't even want to hear the rest. No, of it's not. It's an amazing not fucking. Good. That movie. That movie had me thinking, and my body was like a that movie real city is, for a that good. That movie is three not months. actual good. Uh, is he amazing. passed on Mister and Mrs. Smith. Bro, your name is in the fucking movie. Why did you pass? Probably on because it? he was like Angelina Jolie was. The, well, it was it was Brad Pitt and somebody else, and then the woman dropped out. And they put it with somebody else, and then she couldn't do it. So then Brad Pitt was out of them. Brad Pitt was like, "Well, if they're not doing it. Then I'm out." And then they tried to give it to Will Smith, and Will Smith was like, "Nah, I'm I'm cool," or yeah. something about that. I don't remember. It. Well, I I read the article, but I don't, don't remember. He was back, he passed on it. Then Brad Pitt was back in, and yeah. then Angelina Jolie joined, and then oh, that Angelina was the finish. Angelina Jolie joined. He was like, "Ooh." Angelina so basically, Jones? every so basically everybody quit the movie. They probably <laughs> told him who's gonna who's gonna fucking be in, in the movie. Angelina Jolie is gonna be. Uh, co-starring alongside of you. Now, I think Brad Pitt went back to it first. Oh, uh, and then, before Angelina Jolie and then they got Angelina Jolie back on it. That, that's a that's a uh, movie. That's a it's it's a good movie, but it's not like I'm not gonna watch that all the time. I'm not. I'm, I'm not, ne- I'll probably never watch it again. Yeah. Uh, he passed on Superman Returns. He could have been Superman. Granted, that wasn't that good of a movie. Superman no, Returns it was terrible. But he could have been Superman. That was, they was gonna cast him as Superman. He was gonna be Superman. That's what we need. We need, we need a whole Black Justice League fucking <laughs> side. Go to I forgot what Earth that is, but go to that Earth and do a Black Justice League. I want to see that. And he passed on Django Unchained. By that time, he was too old to be playing Django Unchained, though. Are we sure he was too old? He had to be like at least. He just bust fifty, I think. I think Jamie Foxx is almost fifty. Will Smith. Will Smith is fifty. Jamie Foxx. They're the same age. Oh, shit. That was, uh, shut me the fuck up. <laughs> I it's... guess, I mean, Will Smith can choose, pick and choose what he, because, you know, he missed out on that, but he also did I Am Legend. I mean, it's, not, in Black it's not that he missed out. It's just that he, he turned them he, he down. Turned he turned down. down the Matrix to do Wild Wild West. I guess he thought Wild Wild West was going to oh, bust. Oh, that's why he's passed on Superman Returns, because he said he did Wild Wild West, and he said he can't, he can't keep, uh, Changing white people's uh, heroes to black people. <laughs> That's why he didn't do Superman Returns. I, I understand that. I, I can I can feel you on that shit, honestly. Yeah, because people lose their shit now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you mention, you know, we made Starfire a fucking alien, a black girl. Oh, my God. I can't believe. Like, bro, she's orange. She's orange. <laughs> she's orange with red hair. She could be anybody, dog. Just because they made her look white don't mean she is white. Like... There's more people in the galaxy than just white people, my they, nigga. They'd be like if they they'd be upset if all the crawl were played by black people or some Bruh. shit. Like, come on now, shut the fuck. Oh, the, your silver server takes off his silver. The silver <laughs> thing is he black. Be black. Oh, I can't believe they would have made him black. He's it, been it, silver this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> He's not even human. Bruh, what the fuck fucking you alien. About? He's not even from this galaxy. Bruh. Like when they when they made oh boy uh him dog from from Thor when they made that Idris album, they lost their fucking shit. He's such a minor character. <laughs> and they just lost their shit. I didn't even know he existed. Bro, I don't I didn't fucking I don't like Marvel. I don't, like I don't, I don't I care about their comic existed. books. It does not move the no one can no one knew but except diehard comic book fans and it was like him doll is him doll is supposed to be white and that's just does that really affect his, his ability to do anything anything it's, it's, no his his skin color has nothing to do with his actual identity no uh, bro white people talk about they don't understand motherfucking uh representation but as soon as you change one of their beloved characters white 
they lose their shit. Yeah. Like I bet right now, the reason why they haven't, we haven't got a Miles Morales movie is because they're afraid <laughs> the backlash yeah. that would happen if if you be like, oh, this is Spider Man, but he's, he's black. He's he's a he's a black Latinx Spider Man. It's like yeah. wait, where where's white Peter Parker? Where's Peter Parker, you Peter Parker's not black. This Miles Morales, but that's not Peter Parker. Spider Man is supposed to be white. Be like, bro, calm. calm just, just chill. <laughs> they would calm. literally kill. <laughs> they would kill. I think the one thing that was thought of, if you made Batman black, Superman black, or Spider Man black, <laughs> you, I think that would start the the race war. <laughs> the white supremacists won so badly. That that would be just the last straw. If you made Batman black, <laughs> oh my, they're they're. They're, they're John Wayne. Oh my God. Well, you can't make Batman black because it just wouldn't make sense. Ain't no black dude finna be. Oh, somebody shot both my parents. I'm gonna become a bat because I'm afraid of bats and I'm sad. Shit. No, that's not a black man thing. Black man would, would be. be Bruce Wayne. A, a, no, a black <laughs> man. A, a black man would be Punisher. <laughs> yeah. a black man be like, oh, he, they shot my family. I'm going to murder everybody that's related to this. That's, Bro, it, that's, that's working for Punisher. I'm going to shoot all of them in the face. We talking fictionally. We talking real, realistically. For the comic books. For the comic books, he would he would become he Batman. Would, but in real life, he definitely go get a gun. Yeah, he wouldn't. He wouldn't be <laughs> Batman. Who who's a, who's a person like that in DC? I can't think of any. What? Who would be more? Who would be more practical? To be Batman. Well, not not to be Batman, but who would have who would have a more practical response within the DC universe for, to, oh, to, for. to what happened to so the white version of Batman is my parents get killed, I'm, I'm sad, and I decide to dress up like a bat to to make people <laughs> afraid just, of me. Just becoming <laughs> Batman is so tedious. <laughs> yeah, you could you literally could. <laughs> But like, so, just, so you you're going through so much effort. Bro, for think symbolism. about it. He he he. His parents die. No, he's his sad. parents are murdered. His parents are murdered in front of him. In front of him, he's sad so long, and then he decides, you know what? I'm gonna leave. Go off and and do multiple years of school and education. Be borderline a genius. Fucking learn every martial art ever invented ever, but only lose like two or three of them. <laughs> And then come back, put on a, you embezzle money. Cause let's be honest, Batman is embezzling money from his company. There's no way around it. He's embezzling money from his De- company. Depends on what storyline you're. <laughs> depends on all storylines. Story. Not all of them. All storylines. He's not in, all of them. He's he's embezzling money. He has research and development making shit for Batman. Depends on which <laughs> version. <laughs> Depends on which version. Because <laughs> also he is a billionaire, so he he can just burn. I mean, he's a he can just burn his own money on whatever. True, but like, because there's Batman where he's still embezzling. There, there's, a little, ba- there's, there's a little embezzlement. There's Batman where he has a tank and a flying vehicle, and then there's Batman where he just has a dope ass car that he could have just made at home, which people do make at home. True, but who's like like who's like oh yo these parts we need these parts cut in the shape of a bat. Who needs these? He's do- no, he does that all himself. It's him and Alfred. Just, just sitting there. Okay, he's a mechanical genius, a computer genius, a fucking uh, uh, a, 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 a criminal justice major, doctorate, or whatever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? It, it just seems like a lot of work to only have like 10 years worth of fighting. He was fighting up until like he was 50. I'm and saying. he was like 30 by the time he started. Not necessarily. Like twenty five. Ba- Batman year like, one, he's young. Yeah, he's not that young. I, I, <laughs> they're not, he's not like he's you eighteen. Know, you know what's funny? Uh, we we hated Batman and Batman year one, but we love Commissioner Gordon. Commissioner Gordon was the oh, <laughs> Commissioner Gordon was, was the realest nigga ever, bro. <laughs> Commissioner Gordon year one was the like the, we were like, bro. The we niggas like, jumped that nigga. He went back and caught his fade one on one and whooped the shit. Bro, out he of gave him. him the he gave him the bat. Was like do what you got to do and beat the <laughs> shit out of that nigga. And right? then left him butt ass naked. Left in him the butt snow. ass naked in the snow, bro. Took his little took his little high school Letterman and shit. Nigga, a whole ass thirty five year old cop wearing the high school Letterman still. What the fuck? Hey, them hoes be warm. <laughs> bro, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of can't blame him. 
That's that's the step down from a le- from a whole leather coat, but you don't have to do as much maintenance. But still, you got your you got your ass. I mean, with, if I'm you, wearing that shit in the house, I'm not gonna be like, oh yeah, I'm wearing my Letterman hey, from my t- t- what fifteen year well, old. Well, that's because you're black. We switch to hoodies. White yeah. people they still wear those kind of jackets. <laughs> but, but hey, uh, he whooped his ass and they left, just him, left just him slow, him. bro. Just left him slumped that in boy, the snow. That boy was so hard, and Bam was like, nah, "I'm the power." <laughs> I, I can do something. This nigga got shot. <laughs> yeah, it was just that they gave him the just the the dopiest voice in that hoe. It just ruined Bro, it. <laughs> what's his face can only play Batman. Either him or that other dude. I can't think of his name. The Batman that's been playing Batman recently in all the movies, and like the one that played see. Batman and Best in, DC. I put DX. But now what were you saying? You said who would be. Best representation for what? Who who would be the the most appropriate response to what happened to Batman? That's not Batman. That's not Batman. Let's see. So like who who in the DC universe would would've, be like a rational response to Yeah, would have been the black the black person version of the the Batman response. Probably somebody like <clears throat> I'm looking through a top twenty five list. It'd probably be uh Either Constantine or Jonah Hex, somebody who you just just shoots people. It wouldn't be Batman. <laughs> It'd be Red Hood. <laughs> yeah. It'd be Red Hood. Red Red Hood, but not wearing the mask. They no, just, just they just be the black dude yeah. shooting people. Yeah, they probably have like just like the little eye things on and the bandana. You wouldn't have like a full ass helmet or some and a, a leather jacket. No. No, he'd have the leather jacket, but, leather jacket. but it wouldn't it be, would be a, red. It'd it be... wouldn't. It wouldn't be a biker jacket. It'd nah. be just. It'd be a shaft. It'd, <laughs> it'd be a shaft. It'd jacket. be a. Uh, it'd be a duster. <laughs> Shit, you got a flap. We wear no, no. It'd be like a bulletproof turtleneck, because <laughs> you know black people. <laughs> Bullet, bulletproof turtleneck. Yeah, basically just turn in a shaft. Yeah, <laughs> it's a shaft. <laughs> just a black response. <laughs> Oh, you shot my parents in front of you. I'm gonna come find you and put a shotgun through your chest. Yeah, ain't gonna be no speeches either. <laughs> it's just gonna be straight murking. I don't want. I don't. I don't want to understand your motives. None of that shit. I'm just gonna shoot you, and that's gonna be the end of it. All right. So, um, I find I watched Glow last Thursday. I watched the second season. Yeah. So good. It's pretty good. It's so yeah. good. I thought it was pretty good. I thought old girl was never gonna come back. I thought that was her they. Exit. They brought back. Uh, I can't remember the names on that show. Her name was her name. Well, her wrestling name was. Her name was Chain something. Chain 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 uh, Chain see. Master, Junk Chain. Yeah, Junk Chain. What was her name on the? What was the character name on the show? I don't remember. Her name was Cherry Bang. Cherry Bang. Which is I don't know. Maybe that might have been her. Uh, her stunt name. Her yeah, her her Hollywood name. Yeah. The actor is it's, Sadell Noel. Fucking gorgeous. Yeah, she's fine. That is a fine woman. I didn't even know that she was in Black Panther. Who was she in Black Panther? She was one of the uh one of the uh The fighters? I can't remember what uh Dora Milaje. Yeah. She was one of them. But the thing is it's such a it's such a contrast. From her having hair, like having the fro and, and curls and glow, and then you see the picture, and from her in Black Panther, and you know all the Dora Milaje were bald. You know I had to go to her news scene, right? Why are you so childish? <laughs> and then and then I looked her up on Tumblr. It's like, boy, she is, this is a, a, a a hot stack of woman. Golly, it was like a damn Amazon. But like the the angel version of the Amazon, <laughs> not the not the Amazons covered in people's blood and shit or whatever. Yeah, not the. Which one is she? Oh, she right here in the front. Damn, they don't get for that part. She deserved way more than that. Well, she was coming up. That was that was part of her come up. True. But yeah, I uh, I love her now. Maybe she's like. She's she's not in my top five. Top five of, of women I love. This nigga is chocolate women. It, 
<laughs> it was funny in Glow because uh, the 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 Hispanic girl who took her place, yeah, was a stripper, and yeah. then and then the uh, the director randomly went to a strip club from the dude he from the uh, dad that was at the uh, the high school dance of his daughter, yeah, and he goes to the strip club just to do his just work, do- <clears throat> and the girls there stripping, and he's yeah. like. I can't see her take a top off now that I know that she's a person. <laughs> she, was, she was so dirtbag. Yeah, he is a dirtbag. And then uh, the the Indian girl was there, so he goes up to the stage. Is like, what are you doing here? <laughs> and then the, the the girl dancing comes up to him, and he gives her money, and he's and he's like. Yeah, you're going to keep your shirt on until I leave here. <laughs> Do not take your top off until after I leave. This <laughs> shit was so funny. Oh, man. But yeah, uh, Sedell Noel, uh, this is a shout out to you. Uh, I love you. <laughs> uh, I love you. <laughs> That's you know, it. Add her in this one. That's Sedell it. Noel, uh, I love you. <laughs> That's what this episode is called. Sedell Noel, Noel, I love, I love you. you. <laughs> Hashtag. No, did you see the picture I put on the? Yeah, she looked beautiful in that bro. Picture, bro. Like she definitely, her body is banging, like. glowing, bro. Seriously, she's glowing, stupid fine. And then she was on. She was on a season of the Arrow, and then she's on another show. I wonder if she does her own stunts in real life too. Um, it looks like she does. She looks like she's a fitness model. She had she had what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. She had ten just one episode roles on television, and then she got glow and got to be a main role. And then on Arrow, she got a recurring role. And then movies. Um, let's see. Captain Free Take. Yeah, it looks like her big movie break was Black Panther. Because I haven't heard of any of these other movies she was in. But they, hey, they might be very good indie films. I just need to make a list of, like, all the the actors and directors whose movies mm. I want to watch all of just to... Just, 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 just do it. Yeah. Yeah. But I have, I already have too much stuff just piling up of stuff I need to watch. <laughs> I can't take a close on that. I know that she's a person. <laughs> <laughs> that was a funny. That was such a funny line. It was like, mm. cool, what the hell? The dude's such a dirtbag. Mm. When he was, uh, when he was working, working out the role, when they got it, he was trying to figure out what kind of person he it would be. And then he said in an interview that he came to the conclusion that the dude has to be just a full degenerate piece of shit. So he told <laughs> he told them that, um, for example, in the scenes where the dude does cocaine, he told them that the dude will never have just a neat little vial of cocaine with the little spoon and shit. He said that the dude such he said he had to take himself into. Back into the time of the seventies, when he, you know, when he's at his worst, yeah. he said the dude would never. He he said the dude will always do his cocaine just in a line on a table using a dollar bill rolled up or some shit. Yeah, just complete like, degenerate. Yeah. you know, wake up and immediately drink liquor. Yeah, and shit like that. Yeah, <laughs> just womanizer. Cheater. Yeah, womanizer piece of shit. Yeah, terrible person. Hey, he. He's playing it because he, through, through, throughout the sh- plays that shit perfectly every time I see him. Throughout the show, he upsets me so many bro, times. Bro, uh, uh, like be, ridiculously pisses me off. And like, you just be like, bro, you didn't, you just didn't have to do that. Why bro, did you? All, why like, did you? Just, why did you decide in this moment that you had to say that? Bro, you, you could have just been, you know, what? all right. It just it let it roll off. You just had to just 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 cut everybody off at the ankles, bro. That, and shit. But that's just what that's just what he is. Like he's a he's a he's a film producer and artist. So he's and he's like from, comes from like a troubled home or yeah, whatever he it, says. But like, he's all, but he's a failure. He yeah, just fails at everything he does. But it's not even he, so much that he, he fails. He just sort he, of in 
because he he torpedoes everything. Yeah, he, he straight up torpedoes. He everything just has like he that does. type of anxiety where he just rather see it fail than for anybody to actually judge him. Yeah. and then fail. So he's like, if I just make it fail myself, yeah, if I destroy it, then nobody yeah. can judge it and say that it's bad. Yeah, that's that's his whole that's his whole. Enemy. Nobody was like even it. when he got to the scene where he was he was he was invited to a film festival and there was actually people there to see his shit and he's just like I made a bunch of movies. When I was a kid, or whatever the fuck, uh, uh, I hope you like them. If not, whatever. You know what yeah, I'm saying? and like, then the kids come up to him; they love the yeah, movie. That was dope. That was pretty good. I like indie shit like that. It was like it's, it's cool. And then it's just like you bong in here. Thank you. It's like people actually like my shit. He just he can't fathom people actually liking him and liking his shit. Yeah, he's just he's more comfortable when stuff is destroyed. Basically, an artist like any any artist that you ever know who just self sabotages himself because the thought of somebody judging their shit fucks with them. <laughs> the thought of somebody judging their shit and their shit being considered bad or they're not. I think that's what it is. It's like. They don't seem they're not as talented as they oh, think they are. It's not are. that they don't want to get their hopes up for anything yeah. for it to be crushed. So they rather just destroy it. Just destroy it entirely. Yeah. Then have somebody else crush them. Yeah. Which, you know, I don't I don't particularly get I the I get to the point of that you just don't want people to judge it, but I don't get you purposely destroy it, so it. you can only you can say, "Oh, it's a piece of shit," and yeah. nobody can, and can nobody really... can break you down because you're yeah. already all the way already down. down yeah. I just don't tell nobody. Which the things? Which is, I want to see what happens with the show because the show blows up. The glow show blows up. Yeah, they eventually. had they got networks trying to compete over it, and then yeah. the freaking original network says, "Oh, we own the rights to the character, so you can't sell it to anybody." It's like, okay, so you you just fucked us, basically. Yeah. So it's it's just. Like, I was glad he came around by the end. I was so glad to see that. So he hasn't made it all the way to the end yet. Cause he was he was it, it, he's a dickhead. Yeah, he was putting a hurting on little shorty that was really just trying to make the show better and better yeah that's all she was trying to do and i think it, it was fucked him up because it wasn't his idea that was making the show better it was somebody else's ideas but he even though he was the good director who brought the concept to life and everything like that yeah but he, uh allison brie i keep forgetting allison brie is like an adult an adult now like she's definitely in her mid-30s <laughs> <laughs> She's not why? Why do you keep doing that? You keep judging women for no, being I'm older not saying, than thirty. That, no, I'm not that judging is her for li- being older That is literally 30. like the fifth time you no, mentioned a woman's age. I'm not age. judging her for being. You said 30. Serena getting up there in age. You said Sue Bird getting up there in age. You said Dur- Diana Taurasi getting up there. In I age. said Serena getting up there in age as far as like talent no, goes. There's no such thing as no. Like you because can, you can't. Why do be, you have this thing against women over? I don't 30? have. I say the same shit about fucking LeBron. Nigga getting up there in age. She's you not gonna a, be able to you produce a, the same amount of output. Yeah, but you have been saying that about. But I'm saying it about. And I'm not. I'm saying not dipped at all. I'm saying it about Allison Brie because I always, whenever I think of Allison Brie, I always think of Community Allison Brie. And I and then every, she plays the main character. She was in Community. Yes. Yeah, oh, she was the the, yes. uh, the 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 airhead religious chick. No, she wasn't airhead, but she was the one that was always at the uh, Donald Glover's character. She was like she was like she was the know it all. She was the stressful know it all girl. Who <laughs> I think it was she. Was she? she? Did she dropped out because she she. She took too many pills or something like that. Uh you know what? it's been so long. I only watched Community once through. That's probably why yeah. I didn't watch. If she I was, love Community. If she was on The Office or something, I definitely would have yeah. <laughs> recognized it. I, I love Community. That's the reason I said it because I always think of Allison Brie as the girl from Community, and I forget that like she's a she's a grown woman and shit. Like she's I not the same even, girl from Community. I didn't even. Yeah, that. you think I'm talking about her age to talk about her age? Nah, no, you, nigga. Nah, you still keep saying that shit though. And, but that's just how I, I like. She's nah. uh, she's not the same girl uh, from Community. Like every time I think about it, I think about the girl from Community and not this grown Where woman. Where is the wiki Community? I don't even remember what her. I I can't. I remember she was the stickler. Yeah, she one. was the stickler one. Let's see, Cass. The airhead hippie was uh the other girl. 
Annie Edison, the youngest of the group, Annie. a compulsive overachiever, relentlessly yeah. organized and comparatively innocent. Annie was extremely unpopular in high school and formerly addicted to Adderall, which caused her to be <laughs> very anxious it was. <laughs> and desperate to prove herself in a variety of extracurricular groups, despite already being considered naturally intelligent and attracted by others. She is normally genial and laid back, but can quickly turn obsessive and lose her temper when she fails to achieve or is denied something she strongly cares about, even if, even if it's something as simple as a pen. Yeah. Damn it. Yeah, I only watched Community through once, and that was on Hulu. But that show was funny. That show was hilarious. It, it, I, it definitely got really weird. Bro, Dan Harmon is fucking. <laughs> it got really weird. Hilarious. I love Dan Harmon. Uh, and what's this last thing you put? Summer is a officially over so summer is officially over i think the winter solstice was last week or this week or some shit fall solstice whatever it is all that hippie shit uh winter solstice is fridays december 21st and what's the fall solstice fall equinox oh fall shit. equinox i missed it uh let me see fall solstice <laughs> shit <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah, Equinox was sept- was September twenty second, so it's two days ago. Yeah, so I was thinking like summer's officially over. I feel like this summer has been extremely fucking long. I don't know why I feel like this summer's been long, but this summer to me has been long, and I've I feel like I learned a lot about myself. I don't know if it's just me on my path to thirties, but I feel like I've I sat back and really discovered things about myself and I was just wondering if you had that same experience this summer like uh I don't think so. I don't feel like I did. Because I didn't do... I did way less this summer than I've ever done. Even though most summers I don't do much, but I feel like I did less. Other than going on a cruise, I basically just went to work five days a week and waited for the weekend. Mm. Yep, that'll do to you. <laughs> but I feel like, you know, is there anything that you've learned or you already said no? Well, did I learn? Um, about yourself or about the world? Uh, uh, I can't say. I don't think so. Uh, what are you most proud of? Uh, Going to Jamaica because I really like Jamaica. And I want to go on a real trip to Jamaica. Not yeah, just right? I want to go on a stop. dope trip. I really want to go to one of those those places where you see on like fucking Instagram where it'll be over, overseas and I wanna, you're not even in a hotel. You're in like a straw hut or some shit. You know I want to. Uh, no. Not like a straw hut, but like, you know what I'm saying? Like one of those little open area hotel rooms. I want. I just want to get out the country before the end of the year. I want to go just somewhere out the country before the end yeah. of the year. I, I, I kind of don't care where. I'd rather go somewhere hot. I want to go to visit Africa, probably like Nigeria or like uh, or like Uganda or or like uh, maybe Egypt. Uh, what's your favorite memory? Um, what did I even do? I really, was just hanging with my cousins. Uh-huh. Cause I didn't. I haven't hung. I know since my uh. Since Darius got married, I never haven't hung with him and his wife at the same time. And I haven't hung with my little cousin, Autumn. So, just hanging with them and playing Uno drunk. <laughs> <laughs> playing Uno drunk and then, like, being loud in the ship hallways at 1 a.m. and shit. That was fun. We need to go back. We need to play Uno. We ain't played Uno in forever. Cause y'all niggas been ducking. <laughs> Fuck you, nigga. Um, uh, I I've learned that I learned a lot about myself. I learned that I can I can I learned that I'm extreme. I'm not extremely smart, but I'm smarter than I give myself credit for. And um, uh, um, that um, I can I can I have I have I'm not super fast on my feet, but I'm faster on my feet i feel like than most people are like i'm more of a just get it done type you know what i'm saying just do it type of attitude i learned that stuff about myself at work most people 
sit there and wait for like something goes wrong. Stop touching stuff. I don't know why I keep doing that. God damn it, that translates. <laughs> uh, what am I most proud of? I made more money at work. I don't know. <laughs> I have to say I liked last summer better than this summer because this summer I didn't get to hang with people as much because I last summer I wasn't employed. Yeah. So I was doing stuff, going to hoop all the time, <laughs> hanging with people. This summer, just working five days a week, uh, maybe going to the gym after work, and then the weekends just just waiting for Monday. Waiting for Monday. Basically. And then last summer stuff. we were going to we were going to Barron to record, so that was yeah, always kind of an was, adventure for yeah. the day. And oh shit. man, we ain't been to Pink's Pizza in forever. Nope. We gotta take a trip to Pink's Pizza. That shit was like eight dollars a slice though. But the most was so good oh, though. Expensive. That all meat pizza though, bro, that shit was delicious. But you know what? Life is better now because I have Sedell Noel in my life. <laughs> We're gonna end it on that note. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna hit y'all with this sign off right quick. If you like what you hear, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. We're available on Google Podcasts, iTunes, SoundCloud, Stitcher Radio, and YouTube, and a bunch of other assortment of podcasting. Basically, any place you can get podcasts, we there. If you want to reach us, hit us up on Twitter at Space City Bros. You can hit us up on Instagram at Space City Brothers. Like us on Facebook at Space City Bros Podcast. Or you can email us at SpaceCityBros at gmail.com. And if you want to support us more, think about donating to our Patreon. Please. Uh, links will be provided. I have been one of your hosts, Space City Brother Tev, a.k.a. Henny Pendergrass. And my co host and other brother Space City brother Walter we have launched from the home of the players in, from the Himalayas and we out real talk nigga all facts look how I run it up look how I run it up look how I'm coming up but wish it was one of us see how that money come paper cut fingers from counting that money up praying emojis the blessings keep coming I know I can't have enough never on E took off on haters there's no need to gas me up I'm patting my lead I'm too far ahead and there's no way you catching up